Uh, this one between two rival sides, Boca on the outskirts of Buenos Aires, against perhaps the country's most famous club. And it's Boca Juniors in the blue strip getting us underway. River Plate in the white shirts with the red band. I thought they were going to win the first free kick there, but that's Alzamendi. The interception from Vigereal. This is Abramovich, number four for Boca Juniors. Plays in an authentic right-back position. And uh, that surely is the first free kick. Given by the referee, Senor Ramos Calabria. One of the most respected of the officials in Argentine football. And the free kick will be taken here by Villarreal. And floated towards that penalty spot, and it's uh, an easy take for Pumpy. But look how far he's run with the ball in his hands. Something that would be frowned upon in many countries, but he gets away with it here. Carrizzo. Just overrun it that time. And De Silva working back, and Arabini was in sharply. There's always a really charged atmosphere in this very tight Boca Stadium, which resembles a bull ring. Steeply banked all around. And when Boca Juniors score a goal in this stadium, well, the crowd certainly let the visiting team know. Not much doubt about that free kick either. Alzamendi. Looking to work the ball through for Jorge de Silva. And uh, a free kick was given there for a kick after he'd released the pass. Omar Palma on the ball. There is Da Silva. Rogeri up outside, just on the edge of the penalty box, and it came through to Hugo Gatti. There he is. And that looks to me as though there's a ticking off for Cuchufo. Again, an incident off the ball, and it's the sort of thing that always happens in the early moments of this sort of a game. And in fact, it's now Abramovich who's being spoken to. They can have a look here. Palmer clips the free kick, and in went the elbow there. I think the referee is going to have quite a task on his hands today. Palmer looks as though he might well be lining up a shot here. Now he can strike the ball ferociously. Gatti is like a tiger on his line, prowling around. Da Silva is alongside Palma. Listen at the crowd. six, seven Boca Juniors men shielding their goalkeeper from this kick but if Palmer gets it right it could be trouble for the keeper well it was it was a useful free kick from Omar Palmer curling it just outside that upright but Gatti never moved there's the kick and Gatti stood still River Plate at the moment. Troglio took the tumble. Now this is Kenigia. Rob though, and they're going to have to follow Kenigia all over the place. They know his skills. Now the chance of the break. 
ball out here to Graziani. Oh, and that's woeful. Well, Graziani really will get the bird from the crowd for that. It was a very weak cross indeed. And in a lot of space. His colleague Comas there it doesn't look too amused about that. come off that little return flick and so can he gear now well, that's a fortunate ricochet it's a bit scrappy in the midfield at the moment Arabinia with the throw. And straight to Pico. Arabinia again. And they've all got very good close control, these fellows. Oh, but Kuchiufo making a horrible mess of that pass. Alzamendi in on it quickly. And now he can't find the man out on his right. Karidja. Then you will have been uh, relieved about that. And here he is now taking another throw. Uh, the Boca Juniors bench. Tavares outside of the boots. So it's a little bit lackadaisical was the pass. Good play from Cuchufo though. Now Vigia Real. Abramovic. And the cross is from Pico, and that's a much better one. And it's spurned at the far post by Comas. Now Comas got too far under it. Lovely cross from Pico, though. But uh, it wasn't an easy one to keep down. Pico's been brought into the side. very unhappy about the state of the ball for some reason perhaps Comas wasn't too amused by it either that's uh, where he got so much air into it the referee agrees with Neri Pompidou it's almost like Wimbledon this new balls please now we've got one too many well, they'll do anything to slow the game down Vigia Royale. A little pass to Carrizzo. The cross from Comas. And it was six inches too high for Graziani. And a bit of shoving going on here between Oyos and Rogeri. Uh, quite got going yet but that 
little burst then from Boca Juniors with first of all the cross from Pico and then that uh, cross coming in from the other side from Comas has got the crowd buzzing a bit now oh a lovely turn there well played again by Pico certainly looks a promising player Carizzo spreads it to Abramovich there'll be no way for him there past Erban or is there now did well in the end to get a cross in and this is better from Boca very tight around that penalty area and River Plate have just about brought everybody back to defend in this crucial period as Vigia Royal swings another crossover now they've got it away Alzamendi looking for Kenigia and uh, in quickly and I think uh, high kicking was the award and it really is all Boca Juniors at the moment Palmer, clever man on the ball and he's wriggled his way free to open up a little bit of space now for a run from Gutierrez who's got support from two men out on his right and they couldn't work it between them Borelli's pass intercepted which puts his own team back under the cosh An absolutely vital tackle that from Ruggieri is the cry and the crowd really getting uh, behind their team and warming to this one Arabinia racing forward down the outside left channel but, uh, they hadn't quite read that right between them the usual posse of cameramen there the papers uh, tomorrow will be full of this match. Troglio's fouled now. We've only seen Pedro Troglio uh, twice so far, really, in the action, and each time he's been brought down. Ruggieri. Asking rather a lot of uh, Comus's speed. That was well won by Tavares. And again, the whistle going. Free kick to Boca. It's fair to say that both sides here need the points for their pride as much as anything. Their chances of winning the league championship have receded. But it is always a matter of pride to win a derby match, which is uh, just what this one is. And Alzamendis, terrific speed, really doing the trick there. He caught them napping, and Alzamendis scores a goal out of absolutely nothing. goalkeeper El Loco what was he thinking of it's a present and the Uruguayan international doesn't throw away opportunities like that one and as you can imagine the crowd here are all calling the goalkeeper names Hugo Gatti trying to dribble the ball really past Alza Mendy and he leaves him with a totally empty goal to aim at. Joy for Alzamendi. Despair for Hugo Gatti.
Well, the Boca Juniors goalkeeper is something of a colourful character, but uh, that's the sort of thing they don't need from him. And now Alzamend is back doing defensive work. So well played by him. Tussling with Vigia Royale. And now Carrizzo's in trouble. Palma, but uh, the free kick given by referee Calabria. And a real shoulder charge from Ruggieri. But it didn't seem to put Graziani off his stroke at all. Here's Vigia Royale. He'll work. Carizzo looking for Comas perhaps but it was Arabinia in fact and right across the face of goal it only needed the merest touch we've seen Arabinia score goals on the programme this season now it's Kanigia Losing control for once. And Comas. Well, he's certainly a willing trier, is Pico. Came up against the experienced defender Borelli that time. But he's always willing to give it a crack. Ooh, no shirking there either, but uh, Vigia Real has stayed down. And here comes Kanijia once more. And uh, here he is again, Gatti. He does love to come outside his penalty area. In fact, I often wonder why he was a goalkeeper. determination from Troglio as there was with Alzamendi when he scored his goal and there's a real pace and meaning to the game yellow card of the match is being shown it didn't appear too serious an incident that one I know it's Oyos who has been booked and that must surely be another free kick as Pico bites the turf The game at the moment is being played at such a frantic pace, there are bound to be those sorts of collisions. Gutierrez. Four ball. And so picking it up here is Graziani for Boca. Trying to hold off Palma, swings the ball across, and under a little bit of pressure, Barelli knocked it away.
from Kanijia. Oh, he's so skillful, but he took a rap on the shins then. And referee Calabria must be into double figures already if free kicks in the game. Barelli picks his way through the bits of paper to take the throw in. Da Silva is here. Barelli's low cross. Ooh, and they all seem to leave it. And the shot was from Erban. And he really shouldn't have been allowed so much space. The goalkeeper seemed unconcerned. A cross coming in here. And as it goes through, it's Erban on his right foot who can't keep it down. There's a real keenness to get on with this match, though. Poyas. Poorly directed. suspect it would be the River Plate supporters who are singing at the moment uh, but I think uh, both sets of supporters are as uh, Comas thought he'd streak away from the defender and loud disapproval of the referee's decision on that one Gutierrez with the free kick and uh, easily spotted that time. So they've got to start it all over again from the back. But it's the way that River Plate are used to building on the offensive. Erban. Trying to do too much then. So here's Vigereya. Kilmas. Not really seen a lot of Kilmas in attack as yet, and that's a poor ball. And Kanijia has the chance to show his paces. Past one, not past the second though. Arabinia in quickly. is the right back Tavares and those really are easy ones to cut out and again whistling of derision for the ball from Oyos Juniors trailing by a goal to nil against River Plate in their own stadium. And yet they've had their share of attacking as Troglio takes it on now. Lovely football. Now Abramovich. It's like a spinning top. And he's got plenty to say about it as well. Well, Boca could do with the goal. One down here as Oyos takes it up and gets another free kick. Courtesy of uh, Corti. 
And again they survive. And Troglio finds Canigia. Not quite though. Good back, tackling back by Arabinia. And that's skillful. And again it's Oyos. A little tussle going on there. Play on. Well, that surprised Trogio. Now the free kick has been given, and it's been given to Boca Juniors. Plenty of men up here for Arabini to look for. There's his cross. And uh, well, uh, not able to get it away easily. And support coming now from Vigio Real. Here he is. Four ball though. They all seem to manage to find Elzamendi in a bit of space. And he's so quick. And it's generally a very rapid game, this one. And they do move swiftly from one end to the other. Vigereya. Too far out for a shot, so he asks Graciani to do a bit. And Graciani's having a rare old tussle down this touchline with Erban. And he's got some good skills on the ball, Graciani. Oh, and uh, appears for handball. Referee said that the ball struck the arm, and he was absolutely right. No way that could have been a penalty. Palma finds Troglio. He in turn now with Da Silva. Well, the man had gone offside anyway. And the referees have got to be pretty fit to keep up with this. Comas, some really intelligent running, cuts it back neatly as well. This is useful, and Graziani scores! Just when Boca needed it, they've got it. The stadium erupts. It was super play by Comas. The perfect finish as well from Graziani. Pumpidou just about got everything in the way, but he couldn't hold on. the turn of the blue and yellows to chant good build up and great skill from Comas here the way he turned back perfect center fine finish 1-1 one, one. well Graciani had just shown us his skills with his feet but it was with his head that he scored and the Bocas fans don't care what it was with. It's changed the scoreline. So it stands at one apiece. And uh, this should be a rare old feast now. Alzamendi through the middle again and this time I'm not quite sure what he was attempting then but uh, I think the free kick had been given anyway Abramovic over halfway now That goal coming up after 28 minutes. And here he is again. <laughs> it's pretty obvious why they do call him El Loco. He uses his head more than his hands. Shins to Oyos, taken quickly. 
Abramovich now. Well, that pass needed to be finally judged. And the goal scorer couldn't quite get there, but he's won a corner. Jerry is doing the organising of the def uh, the defence, and he it was too got the header in. Away, not very far. Kuchufo, the appeals are for offside, not given. And Comas has a chance to lay something else on. Sliced off the knee of a defender, I thought, but in fact. Uh, uh, Kelmus has actually put the ball out himself, which wasn't very intelligent. The River Plate just seemed to have lost it in midfield for the moment. Seen little in this game of Corti. Palmer's not really having a great influence. And Troglio seems to be doing a lot of running around without achieving a great deal, which is why Booker are very much on the attack at the moment. That's better. That's well played from Oyos. What he got for his troubles, and uh, that looks to me as though it's going to be another booking. And the referees dashing frenetically all over the place. He seems to have forgotten all about the caution he was going to administer now. Well, he was reaching for the card, that's for sure. And uh, Troglio is the man in trouble, and now he has remembered a yellow card for the number eight. So we've had two bookings. Oyos of Boca Juniors, Troglio of River Plate. One one it is. Free kick to Boca Juniors taken by Arabinha. Just away. It was Barelli's head that uh, knocked it away that time, but it's coming back with Graziani. Canigia can't control it. And River are making life very difficult for themselves. It's a wayward ball though, and Troglio. Tries to get Alzamendi moving again. Alzamendi almost profiting from the ricochet. Well, tenacity is the man from Montevideo's forty, I would say. So Alzamendi has scored one goal, and he's really the only attacker who's posed Bocker any problems. better from Troglio he ghosted past one man won't pass, get past the second though Arabinia bringing him down without any ceremony whatsoever 
the referee doesn't think that is worth a booking and the goalkeeper who looks more like an Indian chief starts to organise things in front of him Can I have the next dance, please? Amongst those people, and Gutierrez was in there. Wasn't far off either, the Uruguayan international defender. And there's so much jostling and pushing, it's almost like a tube station, but Gutierrez got in. The goalkeeper unprotected. in by Graciani and Boca have come back into this game because they've used the full width of the pitch Abramovic who's here now on the ball down the right and Comas down the left supported by Arabinia a really stretched river plate in this first half. And they've never let river plate settle on the ball either. And they really are reliant on the brakes of Alzamendi at the moment. The river plate also are giving away really too many free kicks for their own comfort. Oof. Dear me. Well, it was a wild lunge, I and mean, that must surely be the third yellow card of the match. And it's Alzamendi who gives him... A... <laughs> well, he knocked him up in the air there, and Alzamendi seems to get booked every time River Plate are on the programme, does so again. Tavares is up there, looking for the free kick here from Arabinia. Taken from midway inside the River Plate half, aimed towards the penalty spot. They've survived that, oh, and that's not an intelligent back heel at all. That was being fanciful for the sake of it, and Kenigia can't get round the outside of Tavares. smack in the jaw stubbed his toe Palma really has to stamp his uh, skill and authority on the game more Erban and Kanidja again running the ball out but as always, there was a trailing boot in his way as he tried to take control of the pass. Flags out. Flags out. Attacking here from Boca Juniors, number 10 is Oyos. Cut out by Troglio, but there was a fortuitous bounce of the ball there for Boca. Gutierrez has had to go across, and I think it's going to be a free kick. It comes his charge. Five minutes from half time. Boca Juniors 1, River Plate 1. 
And not a good place to lose the ball. So uh, Comas would have had to have been a greyhound. Again, Comas, this time looking for Oyos, but Gutierrez stretches those long legs of his and he's very, very quick for a defender. Goalkeeper Pompidou with that uh, peculiar stabbing kick action of his. Vocal encouragement from the bench. Neither side will want to concede a goal now in the last three or four minutes of the half. And there won't be much stoppage time for injuries. Abramovic. And they've picked out Pico. Carrizzo's come back. And they're so confident stroking the ball around. Boca have really been lifted by Graziani's goal. Cucciufo lopes forward. Outside of the boot. Useful ball for Comas. The goalkeeper's off his line. Pompidou. It's still an empty net. Oh, and he clipped it back straight to the keeper. Well, for a moment there, it looked as though Comas was in. It's a beautiful ball played through to him by Cucciufo. And Comas has got the pace. Pumpido was very quick, and he just put him off his stroke, and then Comas couldn't get the lift he needed. Meanwhile, Kundigi has gone down to yet another brutal challenge. Inside the last couple of minutes of the half now, Da Silva. Has to work the ball away from the area though, rather than inside it, and then loses out. That well, was well played back there by Graziani, and now he's in another chase with Ruggieri, the latter wins. through for Toglio <laughs> well that was a most peculiar incident it seemed absolutely transfixed at that moment did Toglio and maybe a last chance before half time here for River Plate who've not been anywhere near Bocca's goal for a long time to steal the lead back Palma can take the free kick and he can have plenty of men up there. Gutierrez will certainly come up. And they're all in there. Canigia, Alzamendi, Erban, Da Silva. It's curled far post. Away by Tavares. Still not away cleanly. And it is now. comes to a close it's Boca Juniors uh, on the attack again as they have been for much of the 45 minutes and referee Calabria has had a busy time he's booked Oyos and Troglio and Alzamendi and Gatti now wants to take throw-ins as well. What an extraordinary man he is. Well, at least the uh, game gets on. Referee looking at the linesman. 
Well, certainly an interesting first half. It looks as though it's going to end all square. Which will leave absolutely everything to play for in the second period. has done a manful job down this right touchline. He's been involved in everything. Vigio Royal carries the attack once more to River Plate. Free kick. And we are well into injury time now. And that's a lovely ball flicked over the top that uh, the flag had gone up. I don't think the referee saw that immediately. Play on, he says. So, still inside injury time. As Kuchufo loses out to Alzamendi. And Alzamendi's pace again will test Arabinia here. And he's got inside him, but illegally so. And Alzamendi is going to have to tread carefully, having been booked already. He's such a great competitor. Referee seems to be enjoying himself now. Doesn't want the half to finish. the longer blast on the whistle which tells us it's half time so a gift of a goal for Alzamendi for River Plate an equaliser from Graziani gives us a half time score here Boca Juniors 1 River Plate 1 and welcome back to Argentina with the second half about to start indeed perfect timing referee Ramos Calabria blows the whistle and a reminder at half time it's Boca Juniors 1 River Plate 1 and a lively enough first half and I'm sure it'll uh, be that way again in the second as Vigia Real takes it up here for Boca who probably enjoyed the lion's share of possession in the first half what me he says surely not the referee disagreed with the Oyos so the free kick goes to River Plate and straight away Erban bringing uh, play inside the Boca half Arabinia four ball and that's an easy one strong in the tackle there and Borel uh, Kanidja goes down for about the fourth time in the game always gets a helping hand though always picks himself up always hobbles away and then two or three minutes later sets off like lightning Borelli's cross away first time here is that man Canigia beaten by Cucciufo the strong man of the Boca defence Comas Gutierrez faces him tries to trip him doesn't succeed in that Comas sets off again gets it back so Comas seeing a lot of the ball in the early stages of the second half and uh, rather upset with himself I feel there ran out of it by the smiling Borelli Troglio. He's got good pace on the ball. It's amazing how uh, the ground seems to open up before him. It was a little, nice little pass in just too far ahead of Kinegia. And again, Comas clattered from behind, and now he tries to get Graziani in. Graziani, the scorer for Boca in the first half.
willingly supported again by Abramovich. Who's here again in possession? He's seen as much of the ball as anyone in this game, Abramovich. Tried to play a little one-two, which didn't come off. And Troglio has some space again now. Geni drifts past the first man. Threads the ball through, Alzamendi, that was lovely play. And the whistle really going into an inopportune time then. It wasn't in fact Alzamendi who was offside, it was Kanigia. Vigerea. and beating of the drum. And Kaneji, the flowing hair. Palma spins away from trouble, picks the ball up. And without a whistle, he knew he'd got a free kick. And it was Palma, by the way, who scored the winning goal earlier this season when River Plate beat Boca 3-2. So Real Plate looking for a double here. Once again, Alzamendi's tackle back, which cuts down on the space for Abramovich. River Plate at the, at the moment line fourth in the first division. Boca Juniors are uh, sixth from bottom of the table. It's just going to be too long. Position, but they were unable to capitalize, so Erban. De Silva had come back a long way that time. We've not seen a lot of Jorge De Silva in this match, one of the leading goal scorers in Argentine football this season. That was Pico, and this is Troglio. Soon bound for Verona in Italy, and Palma here, sprints forward, Alzamendi, offside. And it's Troglio who's down, lying on his back. And it's uh, Palma, in fact, I thought it was Troglio at first, it's Palma. I think it was the momentum, his speed and the collision. Boca Juniors won, River Plate won. Palmer's down again, but uh, not as badly hurt this time. A bit winded, maybe. It's nice to see Palmer showing an appetite for work in this second half. He didn't overstretch himself in the first half, but he uh, seems to have pepped himself up in the second half. 
But it's River who will have to defend again now as Oyos comes over inside Real Plate territory. Arabinia, good cross to Vigireal, taking it on the chest, trying to line himself up. And I think he then got confused whether to have a shot himself or play the ball to Pico. In the end, he did neither very well. So Troglio carries the attack back to Boca and gets a corner. the ball in the quadrangle and puts them right-footed away from the keeper and they can be awkward those as De Silva tries to get there Gatti's off his line Kilmas switched wings for good effect then Graciani now Surely uh, control that with the hand, it mattered not because it went back to River Plate and Palma. Finds Elza Mendy. This time he's hustled off the ball. Elza Mendy always likely to prize a defence open through the middle. Vigereya. Gutierrez is tall enough just to flick that with the back of his head onto Barelli. He's playing in the unaccustomed position of right back. But this is just about the strongest lineup that River Plate uh, can put out. With the likes of Gordillo and Gallego on the bench, and here maybe a chance for Comas across the face of the goal. got there couldn't possibly score from that angle Vigereal again he's got Graciani racing down there and just put in a leg, and that was sufficient to get the ball away from Rogeri. It'll be Bocca's throw, a matter of feet away from the dead ball line. and putting in a useful cross as well the ball's knocked in away though for Troglio now and I do like this fellow Troglio on the ball he's a tremendous sight Herban and Palma Palma getting himself into a spot of bother whistle has gone Canigia should just about keep it in play and guess what down he goes again well, Claudio Canigia here is one of the trickiest ball players in Argentina but he rarely gets an inch to move in an absolute expert at this sort of free kick generally finds one of his own teammates and uh, Ruggieri is up there Gutierrez is up there
does the cross and this time it is away and there was some pushing anyway so the free kick has gone against River Plate So, Michel Real. Tavares. Cuchufo forward for Pico. And it nearly got through to Pico as well. The defence snapshot. Pico looks for the free kick. And it's come because Comas is lying down there, nursing that injury. And uh, that's where the free kick was given against Gutierrez, hauling his man back wrestler-like. And that is a bad place to give away a free kick. Not that Pompidou looks over-anxious. There's a real old huddle there, a few questions being asked. <laughs> Fifteen minutes gone in the second half. Boca Juniors won, River Plate won, and Boca with a free kick. Six yards outside the penalty area, Vigireal clips it in, Pumpido makes the save, easy catch. And what's going on now? <laughs> Shrug of the shoulders from Cuchufo, who's given away the free kick. And I can't see why... He should have needed to hustle the goalkeeper after a save like that. Easy one. Kanidji now tries to weave his own little bit of magic. Back for Alzamendi. <laughs> so easy, says Gatti. So he just stretched out that left palm. There was the ball forward from Borelli, Canigia dancing, twisting, turning inside, Elzamendi gets the shot and Gatti, so simple Carrizzo, lovely ball out to Abramovic and again Elzamendi does his job working back tirelessly here Vigereo Yes, he's done really well to keep that ball in play. But really was on the line. And the shot angled across the goal by Graziani. by the minute, Pico Oyos and he's looking for the pass from Comas and it's come to him, lovely cross as well and Pompidou stretching out an arm, couldn't get a touch still bobbing around the edge of that River Plate penalty area Gutierrez knocks it away for Alzamendi Even the tireless Abramovich won't catch that. Now watch him go. 
Tries to get past Arabinia on the outside. Thinks of coming inside. Gets in the cross. And it's cut out by Kuchufo. So Claudio Canigia hasn't had one of his more successful days as yet. Sixty-three minutes gone, one-one it is. Corner to River Plate. And there are extra balls and newspapers and ticker tape and everything down there. As Palmer drifts it in, really. Up go the heads! And the save made from Erban. Corti. First time we've really seen him coming forward. Alzamendi tries to chest it down, surrounded by blue shirts. Oyos wants the free kick. And Oyos, I think, will get his free kick. could see nothing wrong with that free kick the referee had his back turned to it Tavares out to Abramovic and the tackling at times is quite ferocious Kuchufo is the latest to bundle Palmer over. And referee Calabria has got a job on his hands here. So far they've all kept their cool. For how long, I wonder. Silver thought there was another man behind him there. It was, it was the invisible man. Well, I'm sure these coaches live on their nerve ends. Carlos Griguel, the River Plate coach. Has not been a happy man for much of this season. So much expected of his team in particular. But Boca too have a big, big following and their coach, Pastorica, has uh, similarly had his disappointments this season. Back in the side in place of Gennaro, who's been the more regular goalkeeper for Boca this season. Put in that clearance and Ruggieri knocked it out. who has been at the heart of the better moments that Boca have had will take this throw he seems to have been so involved in just about everything Pico it was Carrizo playing it out there to Abramovic this is a promising build up and the chance is the ball oh! and two for Alfredo Graziani so the celebrations start all over again the cross was from Oyos Pumpido couldn't hold on and Graziani from no more than a couple of feet out spanked it into the net so he's poached another one but Pumpido will be disappointed with that it went right through him
And again, it all started because of the excellent Abramovich on the right-hand touchline. And River Plate players here look somewhat disconsolate. So was their coach. But Kompidou, for an international goalkeeper, will be deflated by that. really that it was this goalkeeper Hugo Gatti whose horrendous mistake in the first half put his team behind now his side are in front and Graziani both goals has got his team ahead for the first time in the game so with 68 minutes gone Boca Juniors 2 River Plate 1 now but back come River and Palmar was asking Elzamendi to do something he wasn't prepared to do there Palmer stays down, not for the first time in the game. Gutierrez takes up a point with the referee, who will be unmoved, I'm sure. You can't really blame the referee for the concession of that goal. Palmer's OK. We can get on with the game again now. Gutierrez will probably lob this free kick over the top. That's what he does. There's a wry smile on the face of Hugo Gatti here. I think it was a smile. Well, that's why he's so peculiar. And then kicks the ball out of play. Zamendi beats Abramovich, drills a crossover, Kanidzia's header, well off the mark. Gatti actually looks to be hobbling, so he'll leave the goal kicking responsibilities to Tavares. Probably wishes he hadn't done. Troglio. Kanidzia. Danny's bundled away. Three men around him that time, Kanidzia. And Pico, I think he's going to be booked here for kicking the ball away. Well, the youngster who's playing instead of Rinaldi, who got two goals for Boca when they were beaten 3 2 by River earlier in the season. Shown at the yellow card. Gatti rolls up his sleeves. Protests that he can't see what he wanted to see. And Da Silva lucky not to be caught offside then. River still 2 1 down though, and the free kick given against them. Well, in fact, it's gone to them. I am surprised at that. Arabinia's version, definitely not in line with the referees. Because he Harris wants to be clever. Why can't I back heel a free kick, he says. And there's so much animation out there, and it's really disrupting the flow of the game. Again, Palmar will be involved in the thinking behind the free kick. Da Silva wants to take a run at it, it seems to me. On the other hand, Palmer might try and curl it. Da Silva it is. Oh, and he smacks it just wide. I think Gatti did have the angle covered that time. Alzamendi doesn't look too pleased with his fellow striker. Got plenty of power behind it. Boy, 
just robbed it and fouled. Why, he says. Looks quite disgusted with life as Pico. He's rattled off the ball this time, and uh, well, there's a stoppage every few seconds at the moment. You can see the crowd in the background are very happy with life, though. Boca leading 2 1. Comas on the ball. Confronted. And he beat uh, his man, Borelli. Whoops, and Gutierrez is, is really running a thin dividing line at the moment between staying on and getting sent off. I don't know what he, on earth he was doing with Carrizzo there. Ooh. The eyes say it all. No great love loss, I don't think, between Nelson Gutierrez and Fabian Carrizzo at that moment. Yet another free kick, and that will probably be another as well. well. They're happening about every two seconds at the moment. Calm down, he says. Away again. Vigia Real. He'll probably get taken out of it now. He's done well. Kept his balance, kept his poise. Nobody's holding back. Zalzamendi plays the ball to Kinigia. Kinigia's away. Pass one, pass two, taken out of the game this time by Tavares. Well, he's come to expect that. <laughs> There's a little nudge in the back there for Carrizo from Gutierrez, which the referee didn't see. And it's inside that penalty area with Kanigia. Chiuso forcing him into a four position, hoping to get the rebound. And the strong man of the defence, Jose Luis Cucciupo, has given away a free kick, I think, or did the ball go out for the corner? Yes, it did. No, it didn't. It is a free kick. The referee, I must say, not making his decisions particularly clear at that moment. And they could be in trouble here because there's no one better in the whole of the South American than Palma at these sort of free kicks. All the big fellas are up. Ruggieri, Gutierrez, Gatti off the line, and Ruggieri scores! 2-2! Two -two. Gatti missed it completely. Ruggieri punished him. Palma's free kick. There's the keeper, he was off the line before the kick was taken. And the header firmly into the top of the net. So Oscar Ruggieri, after 77 minutes, makes it Boca Juniors 2, River Plate 2. And what a game we've got on our hands. Palmas free kick, he's deadly with these. But he really is helped by the incredible goalkeeping of Gatti. It's no good him standing and appealing. It was his mistake. Handball. I suppose Gatti would argue that uh, if he hadn't come off his line, there'd have been a free header against him anyway. Thirteen minutes to go then. Comas is here again for Boca Juniors. And it promises to be quite a finale. And now Pompidou lets the ball go through his legs. Well, he seems to be so nervous, the River Plate goalkeeper. Anything could happen. Well, we've hardly been treated to a display of perfect goalkeeping today at either end. And the defenders in front of them must be nervous, but this time Pompidou does take a catch and then runs all of it, 10 yards with the ball in his hands, then he's tripped. No wonder he's going absolutely berserk. And I think the upshot of all that is that the referee is going to go and book Tavares. It's a long run for him to do so. 
and Tavares will become the fifth man shown the yellow card. Seem to accept it without too much argument. Well, the Bombonera Stadium here has seen some drama down the years, and there's plenty again from this game. This referee's dashing backwards and forwards. River Plate and their coach there, Carlos Grigual, are thinking of uh, making the first substitution of the game. Well, we apologise for the loss of sound. Bear with us, it will be back shortly. Have been that both these sides will be in, intent on uh, grabbing that third and decisive goal and it's very much a repeat this of the meeting earlier in the season which River Plate won by three goals to two having been two down and the referee now has got real problems on his hands there doesn't seem to be too much discipline around here. Arabinia takes his lecture. Corito. Tavares. Arabinia from Cuchufo. Down the line. Pico's sent stumbling again. Well, I've lost count of the number of free kicks. Arabini wants some instruction from the bench as to how to play these closing minutes of the game. About eight of them to go, plus uh, certainly a bit of injury time. It was a lovely ball towards Graziani, who might have done better on that occasion. Just seemed to misjudge the pace of the pass. Plate are certainly taking their time about making this substitution, but now the number nine is hoisted. 
So Jorge de Silva, who quite frankly has been disappointing in this game, is replaced. And the substitute is Centurion. Also wanting to come on is Enrique. And one fancies that Kenigia is a, perhaps the number one candidate to go off. But no doubt that Carlos Grigol is trying to win this match in putting Centurion on instead of Da Silva. Bocca is yet is still happy with the 11 who started the game and they've got a free kick but uh, you see Arabini has gone so far with the ball and got past so many defenders he's a right to feel aggrieved at the stoppage and there's his free kick and Pompidou this time under no pressure. The announcement is for the arrival of Centurion. Pico. Referee nearly got in his way then. Toglio found Borelli, and it's a good little uh, passing bout here. Canigia inevitably has his legs taken away from him yet again. What on earth do I have to do to get away from the markers? That was his message to the referee. Palmer wants to tee it up. Gatti again raises that right hand. It would be a bitter blow for either side to lose this one now. Five minutes to go, though. Plus some injury time. Palma free kick again inside the area. There was definitely a, a shove in the back there. So that's why the whistle blew yet again. The next substitution is going to be made, in fact, by Boca Juniors. That's Malgiari on the touchline. So the double uh, change is being effected here. We'll see the introduction of Malgiari for Vigia Real and as I suggested Canigia is being replaced by Enrique well they haven't got long in which to make a mark Palma Toglio and they were looking for Elza Mendy to make a burst through the middle, and here he is. It's a, certainly a good job the defender got his head in the way of that pass. But it's been quite an open game. The only thing to mar it, the number of free kicks that have been awarded. And the occasionally fussy refereeing. Senor Calabria has not played the advantage rule very well today. But the crowd have certainly enjoyed a typically ferocious encounter. Hacked away by Borelli. And it's all Bocca in these closing minutes. They're the ones really looking for the goal as Maljari finds Abramovic. And that's the worst thing he's done all afternoon. Two minutes to go. Plus stoppage time.
Well, although both sides will perhaps still push forward for that winning goal, I think uh, they will settle for a point apiece. Again, it's Abramovic, though. Boca would dearly love to win it, perhaps even more than River Plate. And Carrizo, well, he can... I have seen him score goals from that sort of a distance, but uh, not with shots like that one. Palmar, done well. Alza Mendy, if he can stay on side here, there really would have been an opening. Cool defensive work. the last 30 seconds of normal time as you can see the referee glancing towards one of his linesmen didn't get the nod of approval for the final whistle yet now there's always a couple of minutes to add on at least in these matches Four goals, five bookings. And I dread to think how many free kicks. Pico. And Bokhari here in numbers. Their substitute is Maljari, number 14. Robbed, wants it back. Oyos wants to get the cross in surrounded by white shirts and they keep giving the ball away we've had a minute of injury time Two-two it is then. Again, the referee just looking to the linesman, and I think most people would uh, go away happily now, settling for a two-two final outcome. But uh, let's see what happens now as Urban takes up the attack for River Plate, plays the ball in towards Alzamendi, away first time. Boca try and hit them on the break with Maljari who is bundled over by Centurion, who becomes the sixth player booked in the match. Following the names of Oyos, Pico, Tavares, Troglio and Alzamendi into the referee's notebook. stern challenge from Maljari as well well the referee seems to think that the player made a bit of a meal of that one we've had our usual two minutes of injury time Well, it's not been a classic, perhaps, in terms of football, but it's been a very fast game. A lot of incident. And it's not over yet, either. But River Plate's turn to survive and come away on the counter. Long, long ball played. Offside. Centurion. But the result will not do much for River Plate's chances at the top of the table. They're in fourth place. Boca will welcome a point. Sixth from bottom of the table. 
Cucciufo. Could there even yet be a thrilling finish? Graziani's in there. Still can't get in the shots. And when it did come in from Cucciufo, it was far, far too high. And that indeed is it, and so two goals by the local hero, Alfredo Graciani, have won Boca Juniors a point against River Plate, for whom Alzamendi scored in the first half, and Ruggieri headed a second-half equaliser. A lively derby game here in Buenos Aires, and the final scoreline again, as we say goodnight, is Boca Juniors 2, River Plate 2.